And we have now come to the final module of business creation and growth. And that's managing transition from start to growth. Unit one of this model uh, talks about uh, the personal discipline of the entrepreneur. Having discipline means being very structured in one's approach to reach a goal in life. It can be a goal of the business. It can be life goal. The person will, ha will be very structured and uh, uh, follow what the approach it has set for himself or herself. Uh, if you ask me, uh, I'll say that uh, discipline uh, will have to do with uh, one's emotional intelligence. That's, you know, ability to control oneself, control your emotion, and control both your actions and uh, whatever captures your preoccupation. That having discipline is very important, whether in your private life or in the business you are doing. In fact, sometimes discipline requires um, some sacrifice to reach the final goal. It is discipline that keeps us going when times get rough and not going our way. Because sometimes when things don't go the way people plan, they are devastated. It's only through discipline that you'll be able to control yourself and emotion. In business, discipline requires motivation and the personal development. Discipline requires teamwork, not in indiv individual work. There are some people that say they prefer working alone. But if you want to succeed in modern business, you have to adjust to teamwork because these days, the through globalization, the hierarchies have been replaced by teamwork. No more given command and control. It's for team to get together to work. So it's required. So you have to be disciplined to adjust to teamwork. Holistic bookkeeping. We say that a small business, small entrepreneurs, they take so many things for granted. After all, business is me and I am business. Why should I bother about uh, holistic bookkeeping? Why can I, should I bother about uh, a discipline in my... The business belongs to me and I do it the way I like. Creating a vision and plan. So discipline requires creating a vision and plan and following this plan until uh, it uh, delivers an outcome. Discipline requires marketing and customer retention. It's true discipline that when you market, it's good public relations that can guarantee customer retention. If you relate well with your customer, if you listen to your customers, you will be able to retain them. And a true marketing, remember we talked about uh, uh, marketing mix, the issue of uh, 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 product, promotion, the uh, issue of uh, a human, the way to handle uh, human beings, the pricing, these are the elements that can help guarantee. Uh, like I said, in conclusion, discipline is a fundamental element in ob obtaining goals, in realizing one's dream, and is accomplishing one's desire. A discipline sometimes requires self-sacrifice because if you want to reach your goal, there must be some sacrifice. Things will not go exactly the way you want them because there is no straightforward line.
to life. Life is full of corners, it's full of bends, so that it's only when you are disciplined that you can stick to your plans. When they don't come out right, you have to bend. So uh, discipline is what is needed for you to reach your life goal. So we have to stop here for now. Bye-bye. Yeah.